Hey everyone, it's Sassy Assassin here. So the reason why I'm doing this video is because I want to discuss my thoughts on the reasons why Amberlynn Reed is going to die soon. I'm still pissed off about the GoFundMe thing. And I'm going to be for a while because it's just so vile and disgusting what Norma, Becky, and her family and Amberlynn Reed have done. And I hope in some way somebody finds a way to get the, you know, prosecute, you know, get, do something, to, you know, take some legal action against this because it's just so wrong. Anyways, um, Amberlynn Reed is in no way interested in changing her life because, let's face it, she is making easy money on clickbaiting her critical health issues and click, you know, baiting the, the, the controversy and drama that surrounds her, her life. I mean, if you put yourself in her mind frame, why would you want to change the course of your your channel when you're making so much money by doing what what you're doing at that moment? And I think it's funny how she acts like her job is so taxing and that it's such hard work. It's not a job. Okay? A job would be working certain out, you know, certain hours and then collecting a paycheck every month. Amber has created this little this little venture for herself, but it's not really a job. She's not contributing anything. She's not really working. She's just sitting in front of a cam camera, complaining, eating copious amounts of food, and then putting it on YouTube. So, you know, I you know, Amber is not saying that she's eating healthier food and you know, we've seen her eat these family sized salads which are really not that healthy. They really don't bring very much to the table diet I mean it's and then a lot of the time, you know, you see her eating a lot of processed food. Even if it's organic, it's still processed and it's not the healthiest. And honestly, and I've said this in many videos that the only way that girl is going to lose weight at this point is if she gets herself into a medical weight loss treatment where she's in in a hospital and closely monitored so she, and then has the you know has the ability to see a dietitian to see a physical therapist to see a therapist to see a weight loss doctor and and be quote, closely monitored and have her meals made and brought to her and be given no way to eat food on the side. But I'm sure Becky would probably come in and actually bring her food. I have no doubt about that. But in any case, that that that's pretty much her, her best option if she wants to save her life. But I know she won't because that would mean giving up control to somebody else and for her I think she needs to be in control because she's had you know she had such a crappy childhood that she probably felt she had no control of her life and then the first time she gets has actual control of her life she just goes bananas and you know it's just like now she has all this money and she just spends 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 and it's you know, man manically buys all this random crap that in clothes that she doesn't really need because it's a way to say, you know what, I'm going to do what the hell I want and there's nothing you can say about it. And her obstinate behavior is actually going to freaking kill her. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I bet it must feel, be, ni be nice to make that kind of money and, you know, be unencumbered really I mean, I, what I mean by unencumbered I mean like not having any kids to take care of but then again she is taking care of her girlfriend and whatnot but it's it's like still it's like is it really worth it that's what I would ask her is it really worth is is, is the the torrid haul the torrid clothes and, and the uh, and the subscription boxes and you know the all the other random crap that she buys is 
is it really worth dying over? Is is food, you know, and is buying all that food really worth dying over? I mean, is, you know, are is that 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 bad food and bad drink? Is it worth dying over? And I say no, it's not worth dying over. I'm not gonna say you know when I it's so hard. I I'm having a I, I you know I had this kind of worked out in my head and I'm I'm doing a shoddy job of it. Um, I don't know much about mental illness aside from people in my family who have who deal with mental illness. I have a family member, member that does have bipolar and you know, I don't disagree that she doesn't have bipolar anymore now that I think about it, but you know, I still disagree with the fact that she was diagnosed in one in, in during her for the first appointment with her psychiatrist or whatever. I I just don't agree with that. But um it's clear that she has serious mental disorders and that aside from therapy and maybe take you know and taking a freaking mood stabilizer she's not really doing anything to make herself better which is why i think she needs to be in a closely monitored situation where she can lose a massive amount of weight to save her life and also get the help she needs away from you know the inter you know the internet away from just everything that is causing her situation to be even more toxic but she won't she won't because she is obstinate because she is greedy and she is gluttonous like i think the idea of her not being able to have soda and to have a snickers bar and you know mcdonald's cheesecake factory and burger king i think that literally scares the living shit out of her and you know what kind of steal the deal with me is that rotisserie chicken mukbang there is no freaking reason why an almost 600 pounder should be sitting in front of a camera with a, a rotisserie chicken and literally just eating half of it especially with her your fingers i mean seriously like how 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 gross is that? Like, it's disgusting. It's it's vile. Like, when I saw that, like my the one immediate thing that I wanted to do, well, actually, I vomited when I first saw the thumbnail. But when I was watching some of Kiki and Geese's reaction, I wanted to to stop watching it, and I wanted to like, literally, throw some clothes on and go to the gym because I was just like I. I was like, oh my god, like, ha it was just so, it, it just, it was so gross. It was just so disturbing. Um, I'm at the, you know, <laughs> I'm at the point now, well, I've been, I've been out there for a while, but, like, but even more so, especially after seeing even some of that, that chicken mukbang, like, just looking at her grosses me out. And it's like, I feel like this is kind of this, this feeling that I get now just by watching, just by looking at a picture of her is just further, maybe further enforces the idea that I shouldn't even be watching her videos anymore. But at the same time, watching her videos inspires me to stay on my, my weight loss journey because I don't want to end up like her. So it's, it's, it's I'm in a quandary right now. And I said that yesterday. But, um, the, you know, just, just to sum all of this up, Amberlynn Reed is, is too damn stubborn for her own good. And now that she has complete and total, you know, total freedom of her life, it's like, she's, she's going nuts. Like she's literally going nuts. And has no control over herself whatsoever. So, if she doesn't change within, you know, soon, she's gonna fucking die. 
I mean, and I have, you know, I haven't even gotten to the, like, the, the, you know, the other, the health aspects. Like, you know, she's only able to tolerate it because she's young. But her body, her, like, her, 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 her body is going to, you know, wear out faster. And the fact that she already has existing back issues that probably need, like, sur she probably needs surgery on her back. Like, if she waits, so, you know, if she waits any longer, her back issues are going to get worse. And the likelihood that she'll, you know, do good after surgery is very, is, is, is slim. Back surgery is nothing to freaking sneeze at. There are some people who go in and who, who come worse, who come back worse than they were. Um, it's worse for people when they're older. Which, you know, my mom has a lot of back issues and she's in her, you know, her 70s and she hasn't had surgery because she she's deathly afraid that if she comes out of that, it's going to be worse and she'll never be able to walk again. I have a friend that ha that just had back surgery this summer, and she's learning how to walk. She, she um, even lost, you know, ability of some of her 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 fun you know, her bodily functions, and it takes about two to three years to recover from that. So, I can't imagine the strain that this weight is putting on her back. It's and I can imagine what what the kind of surgery she's going to have to have. But I don't even think she's even considering that. Like, she, you know, I, she's not even considering that. Like, if it were me, I'd be working my butt off to lose weight so, so I could have that surgery as soon as I could. Um, and then there's, like, the lymphedema. Like, <laughs> the same thing. If I had that, I'd be working my butt off to lose weight. Well, I, I am. I mean... But if I was her, I'd be working my, you know, butt off to lose weight so I can, you know, have that surgery. And, what, you know, what's what's even scarier to me, for me, is that there, you know, she's at a risk now where if she needs a certain surgery, she may not be able to have it because of her weight, because of the, you know, she wouldn't be able to handle the anesthesia. Like... And then the fact that she, she can't even lay, sleep laying down, that she has to sleep sitting up, and she probably has sleep apnea because of it. And now she's not having normal periods, according to what she says. I mean, what is it going to take? Like, seriously, what is it going to freaking take for this girl to to realize that she's, you know, her, her body is breaking down? Like, it's it's just so sad. So, you know, there's really, you know, at this point, you know, there, you know, there've been thousands of people that have tried to get through to her and nothing has worked. So I, I really think, and I've been thinking this for a while, that it's going to take something drastic with her health, like her being like literally in the hospital on her deathbed to change her. Because this girl needs to be scared into something. <laughs> I mean, that's what happened to me. I, I wasn't on my deathbed, but I couldn't breathe. And um, and um, it was my weight. So that's why I, start, I, I kind of jumped into the, my weight loss journey because I, I didn't want to die. So anyways, um, I, I don't really have much else to say other than... Um, you know, as much as I ha I'm angry at her, as much as I'm disgusted with her, I still wish that she would get help and, and actually change her life and do something positive with her life, but I don't believe she will. So. Okay, that's pretty much it. Peace out, my ninjas.